Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technoloop. This is the Realme 7 Pro. Alright, that was the unboxing experience of the Realme 7 Pro. I finally have it over here in the studio and this is not a review unit. I did get it early with the help of Realme's PR team. They gave me an R pass which basically means that I could buy it before the first sale. So a huge thank you to them but this is not a review unit. I paid full price for this phone and just wanted to clarify that. Anyway, Realme has been launching phones left, right and center. It's kind of difficult to keep a track of how many phones Realme has launched in the past 6 months or 1 year. They have been launching phones every single month and that is just crazy. Now out of all these phones, they are number series that is Realme 5, 5 Pro, 6, 6 Pro and now 7 and 7 Pro are the ones which are very famous because they compete with the likes of Redmi Note series and the Poco X series like the Poco X2 and that's why they are so famous because they give a very strong competition to these devices. With every iteration of this series, Realme has increased the price. Earlier it was under 15,000, then under 20,000 and now it has reached 20,000. So the question that comes in is that, is the Realme 7 Pro worth it for the price of Rs 20,000? Well, let's find out. Let's start with the display. This time around, Realme has chose AMOLED over a higher refresh rate display. So Realme 6 Pro came with a 90Hz LCD display, but the Realme 7 Pro comes with an AMOLED display, which is 60Hz and the display on this phone is excellent. As soon as I unbox the phone and set it up, I realized that the display is beautiful. It's bright, the colors are excellent, the blacks are deep because of the AMOLED screen and if you consume a lot of content on your phone, say on Netflix, YouTube or just you know browsing through Instagram, all those things are going to be really good because of that AMOLED display. Now obviously it would have been better to have a 90Hz AMOLED display but I guess that feature will come to budget phones after a year or maybe two years. Right now it's just not there yet, the technology is expensive. So maybe after a year or a couple of years we will get higher refresh rate AMOLED displays all across the board. One thing that I absolutely love about the Realme 7 Pro is its form factor. It's not too big, not too small, just the perfect size. Like the form factor of this phone is excellent and Realme has done a very good job over here. The phone feels comfortable in the hand, it's not heavy, it feels slim despite of having a 4500 mAh battery and yeah, they've done a very good job in terms of the form factor. Now what about the build quality? Realme has made some interesting choices over here. They've gone with a plastic back panel and I guess that it is a good move. Yes, I said good, I did not say bad and I tweeted about this the other day that glass back panels do not make sense. Like I was thinking about this topic a couple of days ago and glass back panels are expensive to replace, they get scratched easily, they attract a lot of fingerprints and 99% of the people either use a case or a skin on their smartphone. So what's the use of glass back panel if it's not adding any value to your smartphone? I would rather have a plastic back panel with some other good feature, maybe like a 90Hz display instead of a glass back panel. That would make sense, right? Let me know your thoughts about this topic in the comment section down below. Now, despite having a plastic back panel, it does not feel cheap in the hand. It feels like a premium phone, well-built phone and that is excellent. Also, I love this color. It looks absolutely beautiful. Moving on, let's talk about what lies under the hood. Realme 7 Pro comes with a Snapdragon 720G processor and with that you get a couple of options. 6GB of RAM with 128GB of internal storage or 8GB of RAM with again 128GB of internal storage. I would have loved to see a 256GB variant because that would have made sense but that's not there. 
But the good thing over here is that it comes with a dedicated micro SD card slot. So if you want to expand the storage, you can do that via a micro SD card. Apart from that, this phone has a 4500 mAh battery with support for 65 watt fast charging. Yes, 65. And the best thing is that the charger is provided inside the box itself. That is really good. But I think 65 watts is a little overkill for charging. It would have been okay if it came with a 30 watt fast charger as well. That would have been okay and, and I wouldn't mind that. So instead of 65 watt charging, they could have given some other feature, maybe like a front wide angle camera. Just, just maybe they could have given that. And yeah, that would have made much more sense, at least to me. Now on the software side of things, this phone comes with a Realme UI, which is based on Android 10. Realme UI is good in terms of looks, but it does come with a lot of bloatware just like Xiaomi devices. So yeah, you are going to get a lot of pre-installed apps, security apps and you know, scanners and stuff. So you might want to disable them or uninstall them. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I've got you covered. We have an article on our website which explains a step-by-step -step process on how to de-bloat your phone. It can be any phone, Realme, Xiaomi, any phone, and you can follow that process step by step in order to remove these bloatware applications. It will be linked in the description box below. So don't forget to check it out. Now the Android 11 update is just around the corner and hopefully Realme 7 Pro will get it soon enough. All right, this gets me to them cameras. Realme 7 Pro comes with a quad camera setup on the rear side, a 64 megapixel primary camera, and this time around, it's a Sony sensor rather than a Samsung sensor. So it is the IMX682 sensor, and I am happy about that. Apart from that, there's an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a macro camera, and then finally a depth sensor. As far as the front camera goes, it's a 32 megapixel selfie camera. As far as my initial impressions go, the cameras do seem really promising on the Realme 7 Pro. They are definitely better than Realme 6 Pro, and I guess they are better than the Poco X2 as well. If not better, at least similar to the Poco X2, and that is an excellent thing. I had a good time while shooting photos with the Realme 7 Pro on the first day itself, and I'm really excited to test the cameras further. I will be making a dedicated camera review of the Realme 7 Pro and also a dedicated video for Google camera. That's why if you haven't yet, subscribe below because you don't want to miss those videos. Now, what about the other things? Realme 7 Pro comes with a USB Type-C port and also a headphone jack. That is a very good thing. It still comes with a headphone jack. Now, what about the speakers? Realme 7 Pro comes with a set of stereo speakers, but I did not find them that good. The speaker quality is good, but it's not excellent or anything like that. It's just a normal speaker and nothing extraordinary over here. And same goes for the haptic motor. The haptic motor is okayish, not the best out there. Now with that AMOLED display, it also comes with an in-display fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor is fast and accurate as well. Overall, for the price of Rs 20,000, Realme 7 Pro seems like a very good deal, especially considering other phones out there like the Samsung Galaxy M51, which starts at Rs 25,000. rupees. If you compare it to that phone, then Realme 7 Pro is definitely better. And with the GST hike and dollar rate, I guess 20,000 is a good pricing for this phone and I'm really excited to test it further and make my future videos. That's why stay tuned. Anyway, that's been it. This was the unboxing and impressions of Realme 7 Pro. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below. And also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe below. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.